this is the demo that's not for the green card. Yet. We're going to go into the, to the box ourselves. Um, so before I start, I need to turn on uh, the login on the query process and uh, the search process. So now we turn on the boss login, so we're going to be flooded in the, uh, the box. Um, if you work with Shepard, you've probably seen the, the ULS viewer. So I'm just going to enable that one right now so that it's capturing my <coughs> ID. So now you can see that we're getting in lots and lots of events, uh, including for events. So um, one, of, one of the built-in variables uh, in SharePoint is if I'm searching for uh, an action term, for example, like slides, slides, PowerPoint or similar, it's, uh, it's going to capture that as an intent to search for PowerPoint decks. So if I, for example, search for uh, Thomas and slide, you'll see that that triggers a PowerPoint rule for bringing in a couple of PowerPoint results. It's identifying slide as an action term and just sending Thomas as a query to a result source for PowerPoint types. So we've set up out of the box um, a result source that only captures all the PowerPoints in our index. So you'll see that we have uh, six results as part of the result block. Um, so we're going to check that uh, one thing. Um, I have another thing that we want to check. That's why we are matching slides. I typed in slide, you see the organic results that comes <coughs> after the uh, result block that we, that's highlighted slides. So there's obviously some linguistics going on. The last thing that's a little interesting here is that it is showing only five organic results, but the results page has six results. So let's try to find out why that's, on, that's going on as well. Um, in, when, I, when I'm going through the ULS lobby, that's not necessarily a preferred way of debugging everything, um, but I'm just doing it as an excuse to look at all the messages going between the components. Um, in fact, the easiest way to check the, the query rules <coughs> is to go in uh, and look at the query rules. So if you go into site settings, and, and query rules can be configured both on a central admin level, a site collection level, and on a site level. So you have pretty good control over where you want your query rules to apply. So I'm just going to use the uh, site collection for now. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to select uh, the SharePoint results. That's the default result source. I'm now going to test the query that I did. So let's say Thomas slide. And then it's going to uh, show me what variables are triggered on the particular query. So this is very, very useful. And not only does it show me the query rules, it also uh, breaks apart uh, the terms. So you'll see that it identifies slide as an action term and Thomas uh, as a subject, and it adds a rank to result block. So that, that's the two results on the top there. A question? What if you have more than one subject? 